Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Erica and I make videos all about making and selling candles. And today's video is just going to be another make candles with me, or in today's case, it's make wax melts with me kind of video. And these videos, if you guys are new to my channel and you've never seen it before, I really am just talking about whatever is on my mind, any questions I've gotten, any things I'm going through or thinking about. That is kind of the main topic of the video is that there's really no main topic. So just as a disclaimer, I do talk a lot in these videos. It's kind of the point. Um, but today's video is just going to be me making some wax melts. I already heated up my wax pot and also just so you guys know I won't really be going over anything in too much detail in terms of how to or what I'm doing or the formulas so I will link some links in the description box below to some of my other videos where I kind of go more in depth on those topics okay it's at the perfect temperature it's at about 189 right now which is really good because when I make wax melts when I don't want to heat up the pot I keep that a little bit hotter and actually what I do is I pour in the fragrance oil first so I'll pour in the fragrance oil into the pot first and then I'll pour in the wax and I just stir it for a little bit and I pour it and it's good to go um, but for today's video what did I want to start with talking about um, I've been really stressed out lately, and I don't know if it's because I'm kind of putting myself in these situations where I'm being pushed and pulled in so many different directions. Um, I'm putting that on myself, by the way. I'm trying to do so many different things, little projects on the side. I'm trying to expand in different ways with my business, and I feel like sometimes I'm just pulling myself in so many different directions that I can't give 100% to all of the things at once, even though I want to so badly. Um, but one of the things, to be completely, completely honest with you guys, that I have really kind of been, I don't want to say neglecting, because I always have wanted to have the best kind of candle possible, but I am basically having a whole redo over with my 13.5 ounce jars or my 9.5 ounce candles. For those of you that don't know what they look like, they look like these. Um, so they're just matte black. This was just the one that has the wick waiting to be filled up. Um, but I have realized, um, and I've actually gotten some feedback, that my candle seems to be burning too hot um, with the wicks that I have inside and the wax that I use. Um, and it kind of really opened my eyes to I need to start focusing on that because as soon as I had really found the wicks that I wanted to use for those jars I moved on very quickly to focusing my focus on other things because honestly you guys and I know you guys can relate to this so much I spent months and months and months of trying to test trying to find the wick that worked in that jar and as soon as the guys at California Candle Supply had told me to use two eco twos and I tested it for the first time and it was just so much better than it ever was when I was trying to use just one wick in this diameter jar, which is about 3.25 inches for those of you that are curious. And it just really kind of changed my whole world because I'm like, wow, I finally figured out what it needs. And so I used two Eco 2s, I was selling them, got great feedback, you know, nothing was, nothing was going wrong. And also in previous videos, I had made comments that I was thinking about switching to two Eco 1s instead of two Eco 2s, but I had multiple people reach out to me who had purchased my candles and told me that they didn't think that I should wick down because my candle was burning so well, so that really helped to build my confidence. Um, and I don't know if the consistency and the blend of my wax had changed from the supplier or if it's just me like the knowledge that I have now I'm wanting to readjust and I think that's totally fine to do I think it's totally actually I think it's good to constantly readjust test your product see what you need to change and see what you need to improve on because I do believe that things are constantly changing and one thing that I actually did notice because I get these custom wick holders um, well I get them from one of my viewers uh, that actually reached out to me he has a 3d printer and he wanted to make these custom for my jars and I had noticed that when I was trying to use these on a lot of jars and actually this is a good example of it because it's hard to get out um, I had to really push it in there which made me think that the diameter was it slightly differs based on the shipments that I get in so 
it really kind of is opening my eyes to the importance of continuously testing your products. Even if you know that you have a good formula, you have your wax, your wick, your jar, you have it down, you've done so many different types of burns on it um, in terms of the length of time, not trimming the wick, trimming the wick, that's a whole whole different ball game. Um, but it really got me thinking that it's so important to continuously test your product and not just find something that works and then never revisit it because I felt like I was doing that. So what I am looking to do right now with my candles is I'm looking to do some more thorough testing in multiple different ways with different variables, wax blends, wicks. And to be completely honest with you guys, I'm a little confused on what I need to do first, how to do the testing process the most efficiently, because I feel like I'm a scientist and I feel like I know that there's so much science that goes into it. And if one variable is off from the other ones, then it could make a huge difference in the testing process. And I thought to myself, I really wanted to film this, but I didn't want to confuse you guys with what I'm doing because there's so many different things that I'm working on. And it's because I'm, I switched down to Eco Ones in my in my containers that I just showed you in these ones. So I switched from Eco Twos to Eco Ones. It helps it so much more. It's burning way better. Um, but I still feel like I can make it burn a little bit slower, and that's what I'm looking to do. So, for instance, in my tins, I have a blend between tart wax and soy wax, and that helps to make it burn a little bit slower, and it doesn't you know burn it super hot all the way through. The tart wax has a higher melt point so it helps to bring um, up the melt point in the total uh, liquid wax that's in there so it helps it to burn slower so that is what I'm looking to do with my soy wax and my container candles um, but the only thing about that is there's so many different variables going on here first of all I'm trying out different wax from different suppliers second of all I'm looking into making my own wax or sorry not my own wax I wish I could I'm looking into making my own wicks from the spools and dipping it in a high point, uh, high melt point wax, whatever that means. I don't know if that's tart wax or beeswax. Um, and so I'm going to try both. I don't know how many times to dip it in there. So I'm going to test out different times of dipping it in the wax and testing that out. Um, and also my new shipment of wax, well, it's not really new shipment. I've had it sitting there for a few months, but my new shipment of soy 10 that I had gotten in, I I never check any of my shipments, which please check your shipments, you guys. Uh, please check it right away, just so if there's any issues or any errors, you can contact the company. I did not do that, um, and I don't necessarily think there's anything wrong with that wax. It just, it smells different. It always smells very plasticky, um, and it's a lot harder in consistency. And I don't know if it's just because it's winter, because in the summer, it was very, very soft. It was really, really soft wax. Um, so I'm assuming that has something to do with it, but it's just the smell of it that's very strange to me. Um, it's never had that smell before. So I'm dealing with that and I don't know, I have to test that on its own to see if it's going to perform the same, but then I have to test that with the same wicks I've been using to make sure that it's going to perform the same that I'm used to before I test that with any other blends. And then with the waxes and the wicks and the I honestly, to be honest, I'm so confused on where to begin with it. Um, so that's kind of why I've been so stressed out and why I haven't been making candles because I did have my restock a couple weeks ago where I was able to restock a lot more candles. Um, but now I'm, I've dwindled down to just wax melts again in my shop. So I'm just basically trying to halt on my larger candles just for right now, just for a couple weeks, just until I can really understand everything that I'm trying to focus on right now with all the different variables and everything like that. Um, and I'll probably just put out more wax melts and then probably more of my smaller 10 candles as well because I do feel a little bit more confident in those ones too. Um, but out of all of this, I realized how important it is to work on your own custom blends because I feel like a lot of times we will take uh, jars and wax and wicks and if we try so many different combinations and it doesn't work, we feel like it's never gonna work. You know, we try a wick and it's too big and then we try the wick down and it's too small. And it's frustrating. 
So that's why I really just kind of want to get more into blends because um, I feel like it's kind of the loophole to all of it. You know, you have a wax, but we also have to remember that science is a huge part of it. So if you change the formulation, it could make it to where you were able to use that wick that you previously weren't able to use. And I just think it's the coolest thing ever. So that's why I'm definitely wanting to play around with the blends more. But I totally understand for people who are just getting started that doing blends and stuff like that, it can be very complicated and very confusing. And especially with all the other variables that I'm trying to test, I just, I didn't want to be confused myself and then bring it onto my channel and confuse everybody else. I'd rather just get my testing done and be able to do a whole testing video on what to look for when you're testing and, you know, everything like that. I just feel like that's going to be so much more so much more of an educational and easier to follow type of video. And speaking of Wix and all of these changes, the Wix shortage crisis right now, um, again, is teaching me so much about what I need to be doing and why I need to be expanding and learning more about where to get certain things and not just rely on one supplier because again, as always, I've only relied on California Candle Supplies Wix and I've only ever trusted theirs. I've never ever tried anybody else's Wix. I did recently get Wix from Bitter Creek Candle Supply because they were the only ones that had Eco Ones. And then from Candle Wick, I got the spool of Eco One and that is what I'm doing to test and try to make my own Wix with. But in terms of supplies, I mean, it's so important to make sure that you have multiple different suppliers that you can get things from and you've tested and you trust it and you know it because that is definitely something that I have not done <laughs> at all and I regret it because I know how important it is now to test from different suppliers and to feel comfortable with it. Because the last thing that you want to do in a crisis like this is feel like you need to rush and get the supplies and use the supplies and, you know, sell your candles with it if you're not comfortable. I've gotten many messages before that say something like, I'm so used to using, you know, C3 wax or whatever it is. I can't find it anywhere. Do you think it's okay if I switch to 464 in the meantime? And to be honest, it's never a good thing to just switch up your wax and use the same methods and the same formula that you're doing and expect the same result because it's going to be completely different because science <laughs> comes into play and it will teach you otherwise that it's not going to be the exact same thing. And that's what I've been learning this whole time is just make sure that you are testing out different supplies from different suppliers. Make sure that you have a little bit more of a wider range of knowledge on different supplies and understand if one wick from a company seems to burn cooler or hotter from another company. Um, I have heard otherwise that it should burn pretty much the same no matter which wicks you purchase. However, when I purchased the ones from Bitter Creek Candle Supply, I felt like it was burning just a little bit too hot um, than the ones from California Candle Supply. So, I don't know, that's where this whole testing thing comes into play. I do have some that are poured actually over here. All right, so these are the candles that I have for testing. And what I did was I made one of them with 20% TW30, which is my tart wax that I use, and 80% soy 10. And then this one is a 30-70 blend of those same waxes. And what I have been realizing that I need to do in the testing process is I need to make candles that I want to test. And these um, have been curing for about two weeks. So I made these on the 2nd of January. Today is the 16th. And so what I want to do is I want to make the same exact candles, tester candles, um, maybe today, maybe tomorrow, and wait just a couple days on those ones and then test these all at the same time. So that way I can see how they burn just a couple days after I make them and then also see how they burn, you know, two to three weeks after I make them as well. Because what I have been learning is that candles apparently burn a little bit hotter when they've been curing longer. Um, and it's a whole scientific thing. To be completely honest, you guys, I have learned so much from, uh, I believe it's pronounced Armitage Candle Company. If you guys are not already, check out his Instagram, his YouTube channel. 
He's very smart um, with all that he knows, very scientific. Um, and I've learned a lot from him when it comes to actually the um, scientific word for curing. I don't know, he uses it in his videos, um, but it's a scientific word for the hardening of the wax or whatever it is. But I have learned a lot and it's kind of changed my whole perspective on testing. And again, this is just me documenting the process of learning and readjusting. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Um, so that is just kind of what's been on my mind lately and why I haven't posted a testing video in a while um, or really a testing video at all with my larger jars that I have. Because honestly, I'm still educating myself too. I'm still learning, I'm still growing, I'm still doing everything. The only difference is that I'm here on YouTube and you guys, you know, I, I don't know, I feel like there's a lot of people that view me as somebody who knows everything and I have all the answers. Definitely not true. Um, I'm still learning as well, but I feel like it's helpful to tell you guys these even when I feel, you know, a little embarrassed over it that, you know, why don't I know everything about testing? What, why don't I already know these things? Why didn't I do this months ago? All of these things all run through my head and I just kind of have to just kind of not be so hard on myself with it because I do feel a lot more pressure to be, you know, perfect at everything that I do um, because I'm, you know, telling you guys. So that's another reason why I haven't done any, you know, extensive testing videos because I want to make sure that I'm as educated as possible on it before I talk about it because I don't know, I just feel like that's the responsible thing to do with the platform that I have um, on here and I just wanna make sure that I am pointing people in the right direction. <laughs> Um, but what are we going to do next? We're probably going to do some cactus flower and jade because I freaking love this one. So we're going to pour, pour five of those and make enough to make some samples. So I'm going to make enough for six clamshell molds. I fill up five of them and then the rest goes to filling up um, some samples. I feel like I'm going to talk forever in this. I feel like I talk more than... I make wax mounts. <laughs> of course I do. But anyways, how is everybody's 2021 going? Um, how are your guys' projects? How are your guys' candles going? Um, let me know in the comment section below what you guys are currently working on for the rest of this month. Are you guys working on Valentine's Day stuff? Um, I had my sister actually ask me if I was going to do any type of Valentine's Day candles or bundles or stuff like that. Um, and to be honest, I don't think that I am going to prepare for that in time because if I say I, I'm going to and I want to, um, I won't actually prepare for it in time because I'm such a procrastinator. Um, so I can't promise anything. I might do something. If, if anything, I might launch a new scent that I've been working on. Um, around Valentine's Day, you know, maybe even on Valentine's Day, who knows. Um, but just as kind of something to do for Valentine's Day. But I'm curious if you guys are doing something because I see so many cute Valentine's Day bundles and, and candles and I don't know, I'm just kind of jealous that I don't take the time to do kind of stuff like that. Um, but I feel like the one holiday that I know I will do something for is Mother's Day because I love doing custom Mother's Day candles. I did it last year because um, I had opened my shop on March 31st. First. So by May, um, I was, you know, kind of prepared and ready for doing something like that. And I definitely want to do something again like that for this year for Mother's Day because I just feel like it's such a cute thing to do, have custom candles. And I am close-ish to opening up my website. Um, I feel like I'm trying to, I may be trying to do too much with my website before I actually open it up because I'm wanting to add some extra little things on there that's only for my website and not on my Etsy shop. So I feel like that's kind of what's slowing me down. Um, there's also a section on there where you can add a video and um, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing with that. So I really wanna do a cute little video to add on there, but I don't know, I guess I just have to play around and see. So that's kind of an idea that I have, but I just like the idea of having everything 100% finished on my website before I open it up and of course, with all the testing stuff going on, I probably won't be opening it up uh, till probably next month. Who knows? 
I might wait till my birthday. Maybe it'll be like a special birthday present to myself of opening up my um, my actual website. Um, for those of you that don't know, my birthday is February 20th, so next month. Um, oh, it's almost exactly a month away because today is the 16th. That's crazy. Um, and I remember last year on my birthday, um, I had posted my shipping video that ended up getting so much attention. I remember that. I remember posting it in the Facebook group and, um, I was like, oh my gosh, this is like the best video I've ever posted. It was a cool birthday for that reason. Um, so maybe I'll do, maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll open it up on my birthday, but I don't know. I said that I was going to do it the first of this year. And I also said that I was going to do it on a November 1st. So things happen, things change and it is what it is. Also, just so you guys know, I typically wear a mask whenever I make candles. I did decide to open up the window and I'm hoping I can just edit out any background noise and post of this video, but typically I am wearing a mask. Actually, it's considered a respirator and it looks like this. Um, I've shown it in a few videos, but typically I am wearing this because um, I like to protect my lungs whenever I have all of this potency of scents going around in the air. Um, I just noticed a while back that I had been having some issues being in a prolonged, small spaced environment with so many different scents going on. So typically I am wearing this. However, for the video, I don't think that you guys want to listen to me talk like this the entire time. <laughs> so I decided that I can, you know, I can, I can deal with it for about, you know, 30, 40 minutes. Um, but I think I am going to end the video here and just kind of finish these up. And I think really the main thing about this video that I wanted to talk with you guys about um, was the testing, the candles, where my mind's at with that, because that has been stressing me out so much um, to the point where, you know when you know when there's something that you know you need to do but it's going to cause so much stress that you put it off that's kind of what i've been doing and i know i shouldn't do that um and I know I just need to kind of figure out the testing that I need to be doing just so I can feel more comfortable with my product because I do want to try to make the best product that I can. Um, that is my whole goal. That has always been my goal. Um, and it is a huge priority for me, even if I have a bunch of other things that I want to be doing or I need to be doing. Um, one of which, one of my projects that I've been working on, I feel like I will be able to share with you guys very, very soon. Um, I'm hoping so. So that is going to be very exciting coming up within like the next week or two who knows um but stay tuned for that if you guys made it this far in the video then you guys are the best and i really really hope that you guys are having a good 2021 so far with your business feel free to leave any comments in the comment section below let me know what you're up to all that kind of stuff. I really like reading your guys' comments, answering your questions as best as I can. Um, and I really hope that you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. And uh, give this video a thumbs up if you guys liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And don't forget to follow me over on Instagram at MemoryBoxCandoCo. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Because the last thing that you want to do in crises, 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 crises.